Before we start the video, very important, Casasaurus official Discord server. It is epic, it is cool, it's a Discord server. If you want to join the SMP on my Minecraft server, mc.sorcraft.eu, you will need to get whitelisted on the Casasaurus official Discord server. It is freaking epic, it will be nice having you. Link will be in the description of this video, I hope to see you there. And without any further ado, let the video begin. Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a cracked Minecraft server. Now, I think that most people who are watching this video already know what cracked Minecraft is, but just in the rare case that you have no idea, cracked Minecraft is basically an illegal version of Minecraft that you can download if you don't want to pay for the game. So usually Minecraft costs around, what is it, 26 euros? Well, with cracked Minecraft, you can get Minecraft 100% free. You can do pretty much everything that you can normally also do in Minecraft. The only thing that you can do is join servers. So by default, a cracked player can join your Minecraft server. That is because a cracked player won't have a UUID. Now, a UUID is a unique ID linked to your Minecraft account that Minecraft servers actually use to verify that you are a legit Minecraft Java Edition owner and you will need a UUID to be able to join servers. Now, by only letting people that have a UUID, aka a legit Minecraft account, join your server, your server will be a lot safer. Now, I would always recommend anyone to just purchase the game if you have the resources to do so. But if for some reason you just can't and playing Cracked is your only option, then there is actually a way to create a server that Cracked players can join. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how. Two methods actually. One to run the server on your local PC and let people on the same network join, and the other one will be with a free Minecraft server hosting company. Anyways, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like in this video. Also check if you're subscribed to the channel. My analytics shows me that most people watch my videos are actually not subscribed. Even though it would really mean a ton, you would help me out a lot, and you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind. And then without any further ado, let's uh, dive right into this. So I will actually be showing you two methods on how to make a cracked Minecraft server. The first one, like I said, will be for on your local network. So let's say you want to have kind of a LAN party with some friends, and some of those friends don't own legit Minecraft. Then you want those friends to be able to join as well. And you can do that by setting up a Minecraft server on your own PC and let them all join with local host. The only requirement for that is that they're all connected to the same network. So they all have to be in the same home and they will all have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. If that is the case, then this is how to set up a local cracked Minecraft server. Now the first thing we're gonna do is actually download the Minecraft server itself. Now it doesn't matter if you want to run a vanilla Minecraft server, a spigot server or a paper server, it will all just work fine. It's completely your choice but I would highly recommend a paper Minecraft server as it allows you to add plugins if you want to. And in general it just runs a lot better than vanilla and spigot servers. So I'll be leaving a link to paper MC in the description of this video. I'm just gonna download the newest version of paper 1.18.1 so just click on this button here and there we go. It is downloaded. Now you will also have to install Java 17. If you've run a Minecraft 1.17 or 1.18 server on your own PC before, then you probably already have Java 17 installed. If you don't, then you will need to download it. Now the link in the description will take you to this page. And as of recording this video, there are three choices to choose from. We got Java 17, the normal 17 edition. We got 17.0.1 and 17.0.2. Now normally I would always say go with the newest version. It's probably fine, but I actually know that the only version that worked for me is this regular kit 17 version for some reason this one and this one just don't work for me the server just won't open as soon as i try to run it it nothing happens it just doesn't work so you can try to download the newest version see if it works for you and if it doesn't just go back to this version kit 17 download it see if that works it probably will so you can download it for linux mac and windows we have five options for linux i wouldn't know which one to pick but if you're a linux user you probably do know now for mac just grab the mac os x64 for DMG installer and for Windows grab the Windows X64 installer. Not the X64 MSI installer and also not the X64 compressed archive but just the normal Windows X64 installer. Just click on this link and it will start downloading. After it's done downloading click on it it will have a very simple and straightforward installation process and after having installed it restart your computer and you will be ready to go. So after installing Java we're gonna drag the .jar file that we just downloaded to our desktop and we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it cracked server just like that 
And there we go. Correct server. Then we're gonna put the .jar file. So the paper server, we're gonna put it inside of the folder. After that, we're gonna open the folder and then just double click here on the .jar file. So it will start creating some folders for you. Now it can take a little while, but eventually you will see that an eula.txt file will appear. Just gonna wait a little bit longer and there it is. eula.txt. Now we're just gonna double click this file. And over here at the bottom, you will see eula equals false. We just got to change this value to true just like that i can type there we go eula equals true save it exit again and now we actually want to make this server cracked we want to make sure that cracked players can also join people who don't have minecraft legitimately how can we make them join the server just open the server.properties file now i have notepad plus plus installed on my computer if you don't then your computer will probably open it with regular notepad it will work the same it will display the same information it would just look a little different and here inside of the server.properties file we're gonna look for line 18. Online mode equals true. This is what we will actually have to change. We're gonna change it to false, just like that. Then save the file exit out and then we're gonna click on the paper.jar file again and this time a window will actually pop up and your server will be up and running there we go Minecraft server it is working now to show you that it's working here we are in game we're just going to multiplayer then to add server and here at server address we can just type local host now the reason we can type local host here is because there's actually a Minecraft server running on our own PC but also for other people who are in the same network as you you can just type local host so let's say I have a friend in my home that's connected to the same Wi-Fi network if they type local host here they will also go to the same minecraft server which is the minecraft server we just created so we're inside of the server now we're inside of the minecraft server we just made so if you have a friend that has cracked minecraft they will now be able to join your server if they are in the same home connected to the same wi-fi network and then a multiplayer just join local host and they will go to the same server as you but let's say you and your friends are not in the same home you're not on the same network he has cracked you don't or you both have cracked and you still want to play minecraft together how can you do that well there are actually two ways and i'm only going to show one because the other one is very unsafe so the method i'm not gonna show is port forwarding you can in theory run the server on your own pc and port forward the server which is quite a complicated process if you really want to do it there are tutorials out there on youtube that you can follow to actually port forward your server though i would absolutely not recommend it especially if your ip gets leaked so like if you only give your ip to one or two friends then it wouldn't be a problem but if you actually want to make a public server then with your ip address people can easily track where you live and all sorts of other information and I don't think you want that information to be out there. I mean, it doesn't really feel safe if people on the internet exactly know where you live. So that's something I'm not going to show in this video. What I am going to show you is how to set up a free cracked Minecraft server using a free Minecraft server hosting company called Eternals. A Eternals. A a I don't even know how to pronounce it. What a horrible name. But their service is great. So here we are on the Eternals. A a Eternals. Eternals website. So this is a Minecraft server hosting company that allows you to create a free Minecraft server. Casasura, how is that even possible? How can a company provide free Minecraft servers? Well, basically, they just run lots of advertisements on their website. They also run lots of advertisements in the Minecraft server itself. So like in the server list, there will be an advertisement really there will be so that's how they keep themselves running but basically they will provide a free minecraft server for you now of course it has limitations you will only have a certain amount of ram you can only allow a certain amount of people to join your server also after people not being in your server for more than five minutes it will automatically shut down so if you want to run a public minecraft server as a youtuber or a twitch streamer for example then this is not your solution but if you just want a cracked minecraft server to play on with some friends that may be in another country or like far away from you at least then this is perfect so just go to the link in the description of this video make an account here on Aternos, and after that we can start creating a server so just click on create a server like this and then we can customize some options here so kassasurayt.aternos.me that's perfect Welcome to the server of Kassasura YT, that's me. And then over here we can choose from two options, so Java Edition or Bedrock Edition. Well, we're just going for the Java Edition, of course. Java Edition, click on Create. And there we go, we now have our Minecraft server. Now, before I get any comments from people saying, Kassasura, Aternos runs because of ads, and you have ad blocker installed. Disable it, now! No, I'm not going to, just because of the purpose of this video. I don't want tons of advertisements inside of my video. Though, if you're hosting a server here, of course, turn ad blocker off. They provide a 
free Minecraft server for you. Turning off ads is the least you can do. But now, just like with the previous methods, we have to go to the server, the properties file, and actually disable online mode. So we're just going to the files here on the left of the screen. And after that, you can see we have server.properties here. So just click on it. And over here, we got tons of options. Now it looks very different from the file we had before, but it is basically the same information. So over here, you got slots, max player slots equals 20. Then here, game mode. Game mode is survival. We can set that to creative, for example. Then difficulty, easy. We're going to set it to peaceful. Whitelist, you can set it on or off, all that stuff. Now, what we want to do is we're going to go here to cracked. Now, it's funny how they call it cracked because normally it's not only for cracked players. I mean, turning online mode off has more purposes than only playing with cracked Minecraft. But this is indeed what we are looking for. Look, online mode equals true. So we're just going to pull this switch. And it will change it to online mode equals false. Just like we did in the previous method. And there we're pretty much done. Now we can go back to the dashboard of our server. And then what we're going to do is click here on start. Just like that. I accept the EULA. Of course we do. And now the server is starting. And to actually join the server you will need this address here. So kasasurayt.ethernos.me and then some kind of port after it. Click here on copy so it will copy this address for you. So now back in game, just go to multiplayer, add a server, and then put in the IP address we just copied from the Eternals page. Then we're gonna click on done, and there is our Minecraft server. Welcome to the server of Casasura YT with an Eternals logo over here. A maximum of 20 players, that is all fine. Let's just go and connect. We are in the Eternals server, and it's working all fine. But of course, the most important part, I don't have a Minecraft skin. And that means that we're actually running a cracked server here so now you can just give this ip address you see over here to all your friends and then they will be able to join your minecraft server even though you're not in the same home you're maybe not even in the same country you will now be able to play minecraft together even though you both might not own the legitimate version of minecraft java edition so this is how to make a cracked minecraft server for you to play in together with your friends i hope you found it some useful information if you have any questions of course leave them in the comments of this video and then it will be all for now i really really hope you enjoyed watching if you did make sure to leave a like it if you're new to the channel not so subscribed yet and you're enjoying the content make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really 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 help me out by doing that you actually would and then it's gonna be all for now and i will see you in the next one bye bye